So, anything new? This is gonna take some time. Don't worry. I'll let you know when I find something. Ooh, what's this? Uh, something I'm still working on. Some new armament to assist you in the field. There's only so much you can do on your own. But it's not really ready yet. A new sticky bomb I developed. The signal is activated on the underside. Attach it wherever you need, then detonate it remotely with your gauntlet. Boom. Nice. Be careful. Those things pack a serious punch. Uh, Tiffany's really taking after you. And Luke, stubborn as always. I think of what Gotham has become. And I think of them. They give me all the reason I need to work with Batman. He's the only one that will truly protect them. And he will, Lucius. Always. Looks like another invaluable piece of Lucius Fox technology. I always wonder why he had a table that could hide itself. Guess it's coming in pretty handy now. Trust me, it was much more paranoia than precaution. Thermal vision. You've been busy, haven't you, Lucius? Not sure I'll ever get the first one back from Selena. <laughs> Wonder if that's the only thing she stole. Harvey Dent gave a rousing speech late last night, refuting claims that the children of Arkham were gaining control in Gotham. Despite his run-in with the masked group on the way to the event, people are still hopeful that Mayor Dent can pull through on his campaign promises. People like the children of Arkham want to tear us apart. They want to burn everything that we've built to the ground. They don't choose to see the good in this city. But I do. Batman does. And we will fight to protect that goodness. Because we are not the children of Arkham's playthings. We are proud citizens of Gotham. And this is our city. Next up, we speak to Commissioner Grogan regarding increased security measures city... Looks like Regina's headed to my office. I should go. And before you do... Here. Get that back to the Bat computer. It'll install the added security measures. You'll also have all the info I found on the Children of Arkham's activity within the system. Thanks, Lucius. I've always got your back, Batman. Now get out of here. Regina doesn't like to be kept waiting. Maybe you left. Yeah, right. Well, 
The board has voted. And have they sent the chairwoman to wield the axe? You're being asked to step down from your position as CEO. Effective immediately. At least until this whole mess gets cleaned up. This is just a temporary setback. Well, that's entirely up to you, Bruce. You need to prove to the board that you can be trusted in the seat. Just lie low. Don't cause a scene. It'll turn out. I ask to slow all this down, but... The press release is going out as we speak. There will be a public event in the morning where you will formally announce your resignation. I'm sorry, Bruce. I tried to fight for you. The board believes this is the only logical course of action. I really appreciate you trying, Regina. Thanks. Don't mention it. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. They already had a candidate in mind. I thought it was... <clears throat> I was outvoted. Remember, he'd only be interim CEO. Just until this mess gets cleared up. And who would that be? Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, old boy. Good to see you again. What a chilly greeting. As you know, Oswald's parents were, well, victims of your father's actions. This company was built on the land he stole from the Cobblepot family. Oh, well, the board thought having me step in would be a good PR move. What better way to show Gotham that Wayne Enterprises is committed to righting the wrongs of the past? Happy to help any way I can. People aren't much behind the Wayne name now. And considering that your parents stole from mine... I hear you've been keeping yourself pretty busy, Oswald. You sure you can handle this? It wasn't there a revolution that you had to handle? I'm a brilliant multitasker. The board has complete confidence in Mr. Cobblepot. As his resume goes into great detail, his endeavors in England have been quite successful. Besides, the company basically runs itself at this point. The CEO is mostly a figurehead. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Well, then I guess congratulations are in order. It's nice to know you'll be the one trapped in this tiny office all day. Oh, I'm sure it's bigger than it looks. I'm afraid we need you to leave the building immediately. We'll have your personal effects sent to you. Congratulations, Bruce. I couldn't be prouder of you. Alfred. Oh, how sweet. Graduation present. Surely we could let him take this along. Oh, Bruce. Clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with nice things anymore. I'll call someone in to clean that up. It'll only take a minute. Oh, Bruce and I can handle it. No trouble. Pick it up. Now! No, no, it's all right. Bruce has been through enough today, hasn't he? Oh. Looks broken, I'm afraid. Not a good sign, is it? Time to go, Bruce. Yes, Bruce. Time to go. I have a little redecorating to do. Your taste is a little too discreet for me. I think that maybe I'll add a fish tank. A large one. Something exotic. This way, Bruce. I'll have IT come set you up. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Regina. It happened, didn't it? They're out of their minds. They can't do this to you? This isn't over yet, Lucius. The entrance. I took care of it. We can't let anyone find out what's down there, Bruce. There are ways they could get in. You know that. 
Think you can keep an eye on things while I'm gone? I... I don't know. Lucius... I need to know there's someone I can trust on the inside. I'm here for you, Bruce. I've always been here for you, not them. If I stay, I'll have to stop working on our side project. That means no new tech, no repairs if you need them. I could keep an eye on things for you. Let you know what they're up to. Feed you what information I can. But I can't risk Cobblepot finding out what I'm up to. Come work for me. It won't be what you have here, but at least we can keep pace on the new bat tech. I'll go and gather what I can from the lab. Thanks, Lucius. Keep that drive safe. Bruce Wayne will speak on the issue at a press event tomorrow morning, where we'll learn more about his decision to step down. More on that in a moment. I still can't believe it. Which part? I wish life were easier for you, Bruce. It's just one thing after another. That's why I'm glad I have you, Al. Always. With the children of Arkham accessing Wayne Tech, I have to figure out what their next move is. Bring up a searchable network of all possible electronic traffic related to Wayne Enterprises. If the children of Arkham are in our system, all of this is potentially accessible. All of this? Lucius was very thorough. It means that they could have eyes and ears into almost everything in Gotham. Just like Batman. They had access to the GCBD, we know that. The real question is, what else they'd be interested in? Filter for possible targets based on known Children of Arkham activity. No, I... Yes, yes, I know it takes time, but... ...statement of the century, considering I've got at least one of my guys in the ER. Yes, just please let me know when it happens. The Children of Arkham aren't going to wait on us. I suppose I can understand the truth of that. Harvey has no idea. It's impossible to tell if the children of Arkham have access to this, but if they do, any action he takes against them, they'll see coming. Are you done here, sir? Not yet. Gotham Courthouse. All public records pass through this place. Now look at this. Oswald's public record. None of this is right. His whole criminal history doesn't exist as far as the rest of the world is concerned. This must be what the board saw. Not a blemish in sight. I wonder if they've cleared out all the Wayne tech. This is ridiculous, Gordon. Do you know how much all this equipment costs? We don't have the budget to replace it all. It's a risk we've got to take, Commissioner. If the children of Arkham can hack into our systems, we're completely ineffective. And you think going into situations completely blind is any better? Considering the alternative, yes. Sounds like they've got the situation under control. Good. One less problem to deal with. Patients committed to Arkham going back 20 years. A rather extensive list. With my father's signature as the transferring doctor. Security footage. These date back decades. I've read the video at the debate. It's real. This is how they found their evidence. Something Hill did gave them access. At least now I know the truth. I've seen enough. I have to go warn Harvey. 
Keep an eye on this, Alfred, and have Lucius look into it as well. We need to find a way to lock them out. Very good, sir. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, welcome. You can go on in. I'm back. Yes, that's right. The back time. I'll need a rental in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, just get it done. What? No, 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 no press conference. Just tell them to reschedule. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll talk later. No rest for the wicked. Uh, hey, Harv. Jesus! Don't sneak up on people like that. I wasn't expecting you, Bruce. You scared me right out of my skin. Oh, Harvey. Relax. It's me. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm sorry. It's, I've been really jumpy lately. And nerves. Uh, did anyone follow you? D no. What? Uh, good. No, that's, that's good. You can never be too careful. My mayoral portrait is scheduled for this morning. <laughs> Guess I don't really feel the part right now. I've been looking forward to this my entire career. Thought I'd win in a landslide, I'd be loved and supported, but this... I don't know, it just all feels different. I feel hated. Like the city's against me. It's like I don't fit. It's like I don't deserve it. Trust me, Arv. You were born to do this. You're the only person that can make a difference here. Part of me thinks you're just lying to make me feel better. God, the mess that Hill left behind. I'm telling you, it's gonna take months to get everything back on track. I can't get the phone to stop ringing. The city's been in an uproar since the- Hold on, Harvey. You're acting weird, Bruce. Is something wrong? Just tell me. Are we being watched? What is going on? Look, don't freak out, but... I think the children of Arkham are listening in on you. You're in danger. They could have tabs on everything that goes on in this office. Who you're talking to, where you're going, everything. Damn it! God, I knew it. I knew it had to be true. Bastards! They're like cockroaches. I've had this feeling for a while that I'm never alone anymore, that I'm always being watched. The children of Arkham, they, they attacked my car. They are after me, Bruce. They want me dead. They tried at the debate and they will try again. How am I expected to leave when I've got a target on my back? I'm telling you, it's like they're always there in the back of my mind. I feel like I am trapped in a nightmare and I can't get out. Everywhere I go, I am terrified I'll turn a corner and come face to face with the children of Arkham. They don't run this city, Harvey. You do. You have the highest authority in Gotham. You have all the power, not them. I'm not so sure, Bruce. I'm telling you, they've grown too powerful too fast. I don't know if I can do it on my own. You know what I should do? The GCPD is all but useless against these children of Arkham. Batman knows how this city works. He knows you can't be gentle with criminals. You've got to strike fear into their hearts. And maybe break a few bones along the way. But something's holding him back. I mean, just think. Imagine what he could do if we let him off the leash. He won't have the GCPD breathing down his neck anymore. He'll be able to really make the children of Arkham pay. The police hate him. I, I doubt they would play nice. Then but... I'll make them. Anyone so much as points a gun at Batman, and they're off the force. Batman works outside of the law. He's the only one getting anything done in this city. I mean, imagine, just imagine if we had an army of vigilantes just like him. It'll be a new Gotham. A better Gotham. We can use the children of Arkham's methods against them. They want to play dirty. We'll play dirty. Harvey, look, you've been under a lot of stress, especially with all the trauma recently. Maybe, maybe you should... Don't tell Harvey what to do, Wayne! Don't you dare. Oh, God. Bruce, I'm so sorry. I, uh, I guess I just lost myself a little bit there. Uh, Mr. Dent? The photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. 
Please, Bruce. Don't tell anyone about this. I was just, you know, thinking out loud, that's all. I didn't mean any of it. It's just the stress of the job kind of gets to me. Well, maybe you should keep your thoughts to yourself then. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. <sighs> See you around, Bruce. An interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. Bruce? Uh, have you seen today's copy of the Gazette? It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Perhaps she could be persuaded to reveal her source. Last time we talked, I gave her a pretty valuable tip. Sergeant Montoya's name. Though after this interview, I'm sure the police will become suspicious of all of Miss Vale's sources. And if they find out you leaked Montoya's name... True. We need to be careful. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. Vail. I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. I want to talk. Who... who is this? A friend of Gotham. Yeah, just a concerned citizen wishing to remain anonymous. Or do I now have Batman for a friend? If you stand for Gotham, then yes. I've been meaning to thank you, what you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at sundown, Cobblepot Park. Deal. Strange place to meet. Wasn't sure you were gonna show. Gotta admit, part of me thought it was a prank call. Nothing is ever this easy, especially not when you're a reporter. There are safer options out there. Why here? <laughs> Seemed topical. So, <laughs> Batman, I'll skip the obvious question. The children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Their leader claims that Gotham's elite have been abusing their power, often at the expense of ordinary citizens. For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. I don't want this conversation recorded. I thought we were here for an interview. Turn it off. Fine. Their message is picking up traction, especially since the interview. I need to know everything they told you. Does no one read anymore? It was a lot of posturing and grandiose monologuing, really. We're going to purge the city of corruption sort of thing. Not great from an investigative standpoint, but the public will eat it up. Part of the job, you know? If that's the only reason you called me, you should really just read it yourself. They aren't trying to hide their motivations. You gave them a platform to promote themselves. You're helping them get what they want. What they want is an end to corruption. Something I've heard you claim to support as well. Unless that's all just a rumor. Where did you meet? How did they contact you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not selling out a source. Not even for Batman. The circumstances of that meeting are confidential. Just like this one. I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. You're putting the safety of everyone in Gotham at risk. Well, if you really care about the safety of Gotham, why aren't you looking at Bruce Wayne? I still want to believe he's a good guy too, but... With the information that surfaced, everyone's angry. Everyone wants him to answer for what his family did. 
Everyone, except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way, he just slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. I'm not protecting Bruce Wayne. Maybe not. But in this case, doing nothing sure sends a strong statement. Don't think people haven't noticed. I don't know if you have some connection with him. Maybe there's more to this story than I realize. But you can't ignore the facts. Whether he intended to or not, his family has been stealing from innocent people for years. So, what are you gonna do about it? What is Batman doing to protect them from Bruce Wayne? The people want to know. There are bigger threats to Gotham out there. The children of Arkham. I have to deal with them first. You're doing what you think is right. I get it. Good luck with the children of Arkham. I'll be sure your message gets out. <gasps> we are not done. We had a deal. You're right. You upheld your end. God, I could lose my job for this, but... Here. This is where we met for the interview. Just please, don't tell anyone I gave this to you. Everything's dark, quiet, it's empty. No sign of the children of Arkham? They may not have gone far. Not for the moment. Means I have time to see what they've been up to. Just be careful. We don't want any surprises. I'll continue monitoring the drone feeds from here. Thanks. Go and have a look around. There's a body here. Likely the work of the children of Arkham. I'm gonna look around, see what they've been up to.